So today we are back with another product from Instar, except this one is the pull up assist system. We're gonna get this open, see what they send us, do we even like what they send us, how the packaging looks, and all of that good stuff. But also remember, down below are the product links for all of these. I'm gonna show you the different options, but enough talk, let's get to the open box reveal. Roll the intro. 225, Welcome back to another episode of That Guy Health, and today I have a totally new system from Instar. I will be upfront, and there is a disclaimer. Instar did send me this system to review, but I have already had a good conversation with Instar and let them know that I will not, just because you send me the equipment, give you a positive review if I do not have a positive experience because I owe it to my audience to be as neutral as possible so that when they invest in a the system, they at least make a good purchasing decision, all right? So with that being said, that is all I have to say about that. But you can help me out by going ahead, subscribing, liking the video, sharing the videos, especially if you enjoy the content. If you also purchase the system product, links are below, you could use those, it costs you nothing extra. I do get a little percentage from Amazon for the sales, but that will be you also helping the channel out so that I can get more equipment, do better videos, help you make better purchasing, buying decisions, and help you get a better physique. So let's go ahead and get into this box. This is how I received it from Instar. Uh, pretty short, small package. Those are clients already hitting me up because it's in the morning. I usually do client reviews about this morning. So, so right now what's important is we're gonna go ahead, get this box open so you can see what it is that you're actually getting, all right? Then I'm going to go over the various different options that you have available for you when you purchase this product because they do have different levels of this product because some of you need different types of resistance when you're doing pull-ups. Some of you may need none, and in that case, you probably don't need this system. You could just get up here, do your pull-ups. But another good portion of this system that I do like is you can't take this everywhere. You can't take that one everywhere, but supposedly this one is travel size. So later on in the next week, we're gonna actually set this up and see what the difference is between this Instar system and our traditional door hanging pull-up systems. I do have a gripe with some of those, which is why I don't use them anymore. And I'm hoping that maybe Instar eliminated that gripe when they made this system and we will see that. So stay tuned for the next week to follow up on the actual use and exercises of this video. Enough talk, let me go ahead and crank this thing open and see what it looks like. So I got my trusty knife, not trying to make a first aid video. Let's get this thing cut open. All right. I don't think we'll need that anymore. If we do, we'll pull it out. Now, the last package they sent me had about three boxes I got through before I got to the actual product. This one looks like just one. So there we go. Is there anything in here that we need? No, so we can toss that box out of there. And once again, here's the packaging. A, I, I like, it does, it's not useful. It's not something that you can li literally use, but I like the designing of the box. I like that they have, it's time on here, a motivational type quote, so like, let's get to work. Uh, this system right here, as you see on the actual box, is titled Instar Pull-Up Bar. Now it does have some writing here, and if you can't read it from there, I'll read it to you. It says, pull-ups work multiple muscles together in unison rather than isolation. Pull-ups are the most effective upper body exercise for developing pull-up strength and muscle mass in the back and biceps. And I will have to concur with that. I love all body movements. Pull-ups is a compound movement, and I do think it's excellent to do. If you've ever been to the gym, you might see people benching 225, maybe even 315. Ask some of those people to do 15 pull-ups. I've likely seen it happen right off the rip. Pull-ups are an often forgot form. Don't get so used to doing bench press and biceps and isolation movements. Definitely involve some compound movements like dips, pull-ups, push-ups, uh, burpees, stuff like that. It's, it's very useful. I call those functional life lifts, okay? But we can get into that in another video. I do agree with that statement that Instar put here on this box. Now let's get this box open and see the actual product. Packaging is once again pretty nice and it seems like they value their product so they don't want it damaged. So let's put this up here on the bench. I don't want to drop it on the floor. I'm just seeing this for the first time like you are right now in this video. So that anything that comes of a surprise to me is actually a real surprise. 
All right, there's nothing in that box, so we can toss that one. Right there, we got some end caps to protect the end, and that's very important because this could have punctured the box. I like how they took care of that. All right, so let's get that one out of here. And then right here, we got that. Cool. So this is all that is actually in the system, and it's it's kind of, it's that's it. It's like I, I, I expected more, but you don't need more if you don't need more, right? So right now, you do have no assistance with this one, but let me go over something with you real quick so that you can understand there is a variation that will provide you assistance. Look at some of these different options from NSTARS because they do have different in options of resistance band units to use with this pull-up system, okay? So I'm gonna show you that. First, when you come up here, you see the Amazon Choice sticker. That's a very important thing to look for. Even when you're purchasing from other brands on Amazon, it tells you that not only do they have a good reputation, but they also have a high volume of buyers and probably good reviews. Now, you're gonna have negative reviews at anything you do, but it's important to take those negative reviews into real context all right things do happen especially right now we have a shipping like situation going on everywhere so be patient reach out to instar they do have good customer service i do like that amazon sticker don't forget product links are below so right off the back you're going to see that they have an overall picture of you of the resistance assistance band and the guy on the pull-up bar using that cool general picture next you're going to get more of a key detail picture of the band itself then you're going to start getting pictures of here if you see him getting in the system now i do have a video here on the youtube channel that will show you how to get in and out of those loop pull-up resistance bands you should definitely check that out the next picture is going to show you the key muscles that they believe that this system works and alternate exercises that you could do utilizing the actual resistance band, okay? And uh, I should say the pull-up assistance band because it, although it's, it is a resistance band, if you do these alternate exercises, it's actually assisting you in this pull-up because maybe you're not quite there to do the pull-ups on your own. Next thing, you want to see more video, more pictures. There is a video at the end showing you different exercises. And you see right there, they're also showing you how to engage and disengage different levels of resistance. Now, if you watch the bench press system video, this is my first time opening the package, and that's what I like. I like to go ahead and let you all see, like, what can you expect when you actually get this right off? I don't want to open it and then try to reclose it and then come off like, yeah, I know everything. I know what I'm talking about. No, I don't want to do that. It sucks, okay? I don't even know why I made that voice, but you know, I'm the alternate person trying to jip you. I don't want to be that person. So right here, they show you how to engage and disengage the different levels of resistance. I had to refer to the manual because I just tried to do it off the top of my dome and it didn't work, all right? So down below that, you will see that they have different levels of assistance bands and these are identified by color or finish. So we have camo blue, we have black, we have blue, we have camo brown, camo green, we have camo red, cayenne, green, gray, pink, red, turquoise. Those are all the different levels, okay? So all those different colors or patterns will tell you that there are different levels of resistance and you could use those or just maybe you have a personal choice of a color of band that you want. You can find that out by reading below in the description and going into it and trying to see like all these different levels give you different uh, assistance uh, help with that. So with that, they're going to show you the construction of the material that's actually in the assistance band, show you close-up pictures of the actual hook system, more pictures of men and women doing it, letting you know that, hey, men and women can do those same different exercises. Okay, now, they also show you right here, there are different variations of this actual pull-up bar system, okay? And I'm liking where this is going, and I'm going to save that for the actual functional video. You're going to want to see that. They're giving you right here, if you see 30 to 37, 37 to 49 inches of width. Well, 49 inches of width is way larger than your average doorway. So keep that in mind too. And the way I'm seeing this system, if you look at it right here, the two ends, it also seems to be eliminating the initial gripe I had with the doorway system by not hooking on, okay? So I'm liking the way that's looking, okay? Next, we'll get down here. It says 660 pounds. 660 pounds of max load is what they're claiming that this can reach. Women pull up bands, 220 pounds. Men pull up bands, 240 pounds. How you distinguish between the two, I don't know. I kind of think just get a band that works for you. Probably reach out to them for that. 
I was hoping on here they would actually tell you what levels the different patterns are, what different levels the patterns are for you as far as re assistance. So let me look into it and let's tap into here and see if they say anything about this blue one. Uh, if we go through the pictures. Okay, so right there. On the blue one, if you read below and you scroll over past the generic picture of the guy or the woman getting into it, it's this, usually the second picture. It says that vary assistance from 55 to 166 pounds. Now let's pick, let's say, the camo green one and see if it's 55 to 165 pounds. We pick camo green. And it says, if we scroll over, it says 55 to 165 pounds. So at this point in time, I'm starting to think that the assistance is within that very it varies with within 55 to 165 with all of these bands so we'll tap one more picture way on the end picking turquoise and see if it says the same thing if so there all the varying resistance or assistance is the same from 55 to 165 but you get to pick personally which color bands that you want to have in your gym or in your travel bag so we'll pick turquoise we're going to scroll over one more time to see the second picture and it is the same, 55 to 165 pounds. So all of these, I didn't go all up through all of them, but we picked three from, you know, a random scale as far as the options they gave us. And it's 55 to 165. So I will pick one more just to be sure, camo blue. We'll scroll over from the second picture. And it says one to three cables to vary assistance so that we didn't get what we wanted on that one. So let's pick black and see what it says, because I see it does have some verbiage down there. And it also says 55 to 165 pounds. So that tells us pretty much tells me, might not tell you, that all these bands are 55 to 165. But I get to pick which color or finish I want because I might want it to match with my BMF bag, built for athletes bag, BFA bag, and my belt. Because my belt is like camo gray. So I might lend to go ahead and pick the black. Or maybe I want to match it with the bench press system and I'll pick the same color with that one since the resistance is going to be the same. So with that being said... Let's go ahead and take a look at the manual and see what we have here. A very simple manual, accordion style. And we're going to start with number one. It's basically just telling us there are different levels and sizes to this pull-up, going from small, medium, large, and extra large. Uh, if you see right here, small is 30 to 37 inches. Medium is 37 to 49 inches. Large is 49 to 57 inches. And extra large is 57 to 69 inches. Very fair number right there, 69. It's also showing you how this locking engagement system works. And then on three, which is on the back, it's showing us how he's installing it. Now, he's not actually in a doorway in this picture, I noticed. He's pretty much in an actual hallway. So we may have to find some different areas because my house has pretty large like walkways. So I don't know. Uh, well, I'll definitely be able to show you in a corridor way or doorway. So we'll go over that. We'll cover what we can and get through that. So that's instruction manual. Pretty simple. This is the bar system. Now, I do notice that they do have a nice rubber or non-metallic grip here, which is pretty important to a lot of people. Because if you notice on some pull-up systems, especially if you go to the gym, there's been some individual that's taken it up on he or she self to tape the pull-up bands for us and, you know, give us something not only to grip on, but something that won't abrase our hands and get those calluses as much. Instar definitely thought about that and put something that is non-metallic, some type of neoprene or maybe, I don't know what type of mirrors is, but it's a rubber type material. Let's go ahead and hit this lock. Now they did identify these as lock and I do like that instead of just not going the cheap old way, just going the cheap old way and just leaving them blank. They're, they do unlock, so you pull them out to unlock. Maybe you have to pull both and then... You should be able to, I guess, pull these out, correct? Let me unlock it all the way if I'm not doing something correctly, right? Because it's a possibility because I just got this system and I'll be, you know, using it just like you. So I don't know. Oh, it's screw. Yo, that's awesome. That is awesome. And then even in the screw section, they tell you right here, short to long, if you're screwing it this way, that is awesome. Like Instar, I got to give you major props for that. Now... The only thing I could recommend is if these had some type of joining inner tube system so that when you spent this one, this one also went out the same amount and distance so that you know you were equal on both sides. But I guess at the end of the game, as long as it's in the doorway or the walkway and there's enough pressure where you lock it and you pretty much, you know what? And I pretty, what I'm, okay, this is something else to consider. 
that it once you get these locked in on both sides, I can see how then you would just use the bar to tighten it up. You will probably go ahead and bring these out as far as you needed to to get these two ends to mate up on the surface. And then you would just use the bar and twist this way or that way to get that that uh, equal movement from there. From there you could. But I do like the fact that they use the screw adjustment instead of something that just pushed in and pushed out because there could be a situation where you lose that tension and this comes slipping down on you and that's not a good situation you want. So I'm liking that. We don't have much more here. It's pretty simple. It's pretty self-explanatory, especially if you read the manual entirety, which I didn't. You know, I'm trying to get through the video because I know you all get bored pretty easy and you're like, you know, stop it. Something else I'm noticing here that might be something they meant to do or maybe not. I see thread marks here in these holes, which technically would mean to me that you could probably install a set screw a set screw there now i don't know if they intended that or maybe that's just something here that they use clips that could be used for another system and those are there so they can you know have one one piece part to go through multiple different systems but that is also something you might consider you could get you an allen insert and run a set screw in there if you needed to really load this thing down if it was going to stand somewhere and maybe hold a punching bag given that they said 600 and something pounds of resistance there or, or load max capacity so I am liking this. I am ready to get this thing using. First thing, next thing I'm going to do is reach out to NSTAR to see if we can actually get the assistant band portion so I can show you different things to actually do with this. Then we're going to get to working out with this thing. So other than that, NSTAR, I'm liking what I see so far. If you like what you see so far, go ahead. Product links are below. Click those. Check out those options. Order you one. If you want to wait till you see my workout video, that's cool too. But I don't know why you would wait. You might as well just order it because if you like what you see here, you're going to like what you get. So other than that, you know what I always say about this time. Be safe. Let's build together. And peace. I'm going to go play with this. All right.